What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and it's the end of February, and I wanted to give some updates on some of the experiments that we did at the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2020. So we're about to start ramping up full production for um, the farmer's market season, and before I did that, I wanted to update you guys on the fruiting out of some of these experiments so we can come on in here you can see i've got my humidity going um and i guess i'll start over here so this is our north carolina wild oyster um, i just started messing around with some 10 pound blocks and you can see the difference between the side fruiters and um, the top fruiters and that's after about a week in the fruiting chamber, so a little bit slow to pin, but I feel like that's because of the cooler temperatures right now. Um, so as we come over here, this is really exciting. We've got our wild oyster strain from Michigan that was sent to us in the fall. So I'll post a link up above um, of our video on that. So. Someone sent me a frozen oyster mushroom from Michigan and then we cloned it on water auger. And this is the result. It's such a beautiful mushroom. Um, I'm probably gonna use it to cross with some of our commercial varieties. It has a really delicate cap, but um, a strong and nice flavor on it. And I really like the color of this one. It reminds us of the Colorado oyster that we grew from two years back. So I'm just coming down the, down the road here. We've got some lion's mane that we started. And this is our commercial blue oyster. So typical pin set is more like this. Um, but as we come down the road, I wanted to show you guys our Harisium Americanum. So this is a bear's head mushroom. I really like the formation of the teeth on this one compared to a lion's mane. So if you look at the lion's mane, it's got a lot longer teeth, but one of the downsides to this um, bear's head is it seems to be taking a little bit longer to fruit. So this is about three weeks in from pinning and it's a slow grower, but that could also be due to the temperature. So I'm still trying to dial this one in, but I'll be posting this up on Etsy very soon. Um, once I figure out the ideal temperatures and then as we come down the road here we've got our probably our last round of enoki going but I really like the enokis during this time of year um, they do really well in the colder temperatures um, so that'll probably be the last batch of that headed over to the co-op at first and then some really exciting news is this Agrisive Parasitica. So if you watch our video, um, it's on a Fungi Friday, I'll post a link above. But this was a mushroom that was sent to me from New Zealand. So I inoculated it from spore, brought it all the way until fruiting. And you can see it colonized really nicely. I'm just waiting for it to pin. So I'm not even sure if it's gonna pin in here. Um, it's grown on Masters Mix, where normally it's grown on gum tree. So it's a very unique strain, and it produces these giant agricide mushrooms that it looks very similar to um, to a piapini almost. But I'm really excited. I got it to this stage, and I've got a few more cultures that came about later. So I'm gonna be experimenting those throughout the summer. I feel like this is gonna be a warm weather mushroom, but um, you guys saw it first right here. We've got it um, in fruiting right now. Um, and then as we come over to this side, I've got some pink oysters that I'm testing, some different varieties, and um, pretty much that's it. Just uh, some king oysters down below. But I wanted to get, give you guys an update before we start filling this up for production. And um, also the cordyceps mushrooms are still waiting to pin, 
So right now our temperatures are in the 50s and I think that that might be a little bit too cold for cordyceps. Um, typically they take about six weeks. It's been about five weeks, so I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully they start pinning next week and um, we'll just uh, continue with that breeding project until we get a really nice commercial strain. All right guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Um, stay tuned for the spring. We're gonna be doing some outdoor projects, which is really exciting. Um, I'm almost ready to start those, but they probably won't happen until late April, early May, just because I don't wanna plant them too early before the final frost. Um, but I've got some spawn that's ready to go and I've got my raised beds and I'm just waiting on some um, some mesh or netting that I can put over the top to protect it from bugs. So give us a thumbs up. Um, check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi. We're gonna be posting some new strains on there shortly um, once we grow these out. And um, we'll keep posting fresh cultures throughout the summer. Um, stay tuned. Tomorrow, Fungi Friday at Lion's Mane in Denver. We're gonna go check out the best mycology shop in Denver um, and talk to Tatiana, one of the owners. They're super knowledgeable and um, it's a really cool place if you wanna just hang out there or you know they got lots of cool um, mushroom equipment and books and magazines and you'll see it tomorrow. All right guys, um, until next time, much love.